Imagine a world where hereditary illnesses are a thing of the past. Crops thrive in any environment, and the concept of aging is radically transformed. This isn't science fiction, it's the imminent reality brought by gene editing. Let's dive into one of the most groundbreaking scientific advancements of our time. So, what is gene editing? Gene editing is a cutting-edge form of genetic engineering that allows scientists to make precise modifications to an organism's DNA. This advanced technique lets researchers add, delete, or tweak specific genes within the genome. By altering the genomes of animals, scientists can study how genetic changes affect health, providing crucial insights into hereditary diseases, and paving the way for potential treatments. One of the most exciting applications of genome editing is in gene therapy. For conditions like diabetes and cystic fibrosis, targeting the genetic root could revolutionize medical treatments, representing a major leap in our understanding of genetics. Techniques like CRISPR, talons, zinc finger nucleuses, and homing endonucleases enable precise changes by creating targeted double-strand breaks in DNA. The journey of gene editing spans several decades filled with remarkable milestones. Since the discovery of the double helix structure of DNA in the 1950s, scientists have recognized the potential of gene editing for altering genetic traits and treating illnesses. Despite early limitations, efforts since the 1980s laid the groundwork for today's precise genome editing technologies. A major breakthrough came in 2012 with the discovery of CRISPR CAS9 by Jennifer Doudna, Emmanuel Charpentier, and their colleagues. This revolutionary tool allows unprecedented accuracy and efficiency in targeting specific genome regions. CRISPR works like genetic scissors, enabling researchers to cut and modify DNA segments in living organisms. This advancement has transformed genetic research and medicine opening new possibilities for treating genetic disorders, engineering crops, and deepening our understanding of fundamental biological processes. Between 2015 and 2018, significant developments and controversies emerged in human genetic engineering. In 2015, Jay Huang's team in China edited human zygotes, followed by K. Niacin's team in the UK, modifying blastocysts in 2017. The most controversial event was in 2018, when He Jiangkui announced the birth of genetically edited twins, Lulu and Nana, aimed at making them resistant to HIV by altering the CCR5 gene. This sparked ethical debates due to potential unforeseen consequences, such as mosaic gene modifications and long-term impacts on future generations. In late 2023, history was made with the approval of Kaskevi's CRISPR-based therapy for sickle cell disease, or SCD, and transfusion-dependent beta thalassemia, or TDT, a collaboration between CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex. Kaskevi stimulates the production of fetal hemoglobin, alleviating symptoms of these genetic disorders. Clinical trials showed significant improvements. TDT patients no longer needed transfusions, and SCD patients experienced fewer painful vaso-occlusive events. These successes demonstrate CRISPR's potential to revolutionize treatment and improve patient health. However, the widespread use of Cascavi faces challenges. Its high cost, around $2 million per patient, limits access, especially in regions with poor healthcare systems. Additionally, manufacturing and delivery logistics pose significant hurdles. Overcoming these barriers, along with continued research to enhance safety, reduce costs, and improve accessibility, will be crucial for realizing the global potential of CRISPR-based therapies. Editus Medicine and Beam Therapeutics are also pioneering CRISPR-based treatments for severe SCD and TDT through clinical trials. Editus Medicine studies with the Cas12A protein have shown promising results, with no major side effects reported and significant increases in fetal hemoglobin levels in patients. This success has led to FDA fast-track designation for Editus, which plans to expand its trials across North America and expects data updates by mid-2024. Beam Therapeutics is making headlines with its innovative Phase 1-2 trial in the U.S. for Severe Sickle Cell Disease, or SCD. This trial, which has just begun dosing patients, uses state-of-the-art base editing technology. Unlike traditional gene editing methods that cut DNA, 
Base editing triggers fetal hemoglobin synthesis without breaking DNA strands, potentially improving the safety profile of the treatment. The medical community is eagerly awaiting more updates on this groundbreaking trial in 2024. In parallel, the UC consortium is gearing up for a phase one study aimed at directly fixing the SCD mutation. However, due to manufacturing hurdles, patient enrollment is not expected to start until early 2025. These pioneering efforts underscore the relentless progress in developing CRISPR-based medicines, offering new therapeutic options for genetic blood disorders, and bringing us closer to broader clinical applications of this revolutionary technology. Let's discuss the pros and cons of gene editing. Gene editing stands at the forefront of medical and scientific innovation with the potential to transform various fields. Gene editing can treat genetic diseases at their root, offering hope for cures previously thought impossible. For instance, conditions like cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy, and certain inherited cancers could see significant advancements. By creating nutrient-dense, disease-resistant crops that thrive in challenging environments like drought or poor soil quality, gene editing could ensure global food security. This technology could also reduce the need for chemical pesticides and herbicides, promoting more sustainable farming practices. Gene editing might play a crucial role in conservation by helping to revive extinct species or enhancing the resilience of endangered species to environmental changes, potentially preserving biodiversity. The technology may uncover discoveries that prolong human lifespans and improve the quality of life in old age addressing age-related diseases and conditions. However, alongside these incredible benefits, gene editing poses significant ethical and practical challenges. The manipulation of human embryos raises profound ethical questions, concerns about genetic uniformity, informed consent, and unintended consequences are at the forefront of this debate, particularly with the possibility of creating designer babies. There is a risk that gene editing technologies could be exploited for harmful purposes such as bioterrorism or the development of biological weapons. This possibility necessitates stringent oversight and international cooperation. Ensuring the responsibility and safe use of gene editing technologies is a complex task for regulators. Developing global laws, governance structures, and supervision mechanisms is a dynamic and ongoing challenge. Tools like CRISPR can sometimes cause off-target effects and unintended mutations. These unexpected changes could have harmful implications for individuals or entire populations, underscoring the need for careful and thorough research. The journey toward these advancements must be navigated with ethical considerations and robust regulatory frameworks. Balancing innovation with ethical oversight is essential to ensure that gene editing technologies are used responsibly. As research progresses, addressing these challenges will be pivotal in harnessing the full potential of gene editing. As we delve into the transformative potential of gene editing, we uncover its vast impact on our world, from curing genetic diseases to enhancing agricultural yields. The possibilities seem limitless. But what ethical dilemmas does gene editing pose? How will regulations evolve to ensure its safe and responsible use? And what breakthroughs are on the horizon that could reshape our future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.